Oh, you, you, you start. Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Tom. Welcome to Movies in a Minute. Movies in a Minute. We are reviewing Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Yeah. When is the last time you saw Dora the Explorer cartoon? You are forgetting I have children. Oh, rats. <laughs> So recently. So recently. Okay, so what I like about this, I think it appeals. So we do see Dora as a kid, which is probably, hopefully, I think around the same age as the cartoon, but then time passes by and she is a teenager in high school. Mm -hmm. So I think that appeals to more more of an audience, I think, if it was just strictly her. I think as it's a kid. appealing to the kids, the kids that grew up with Dora. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now some of them are tweens and teens and mm -hmm. maybe even mm -hmm. some adults, adults. without yeah. doing math but yeah it was interesting for sure i love the beginning because it was focused on them as children and michael pena and and just like delicioso delicioso but yes michael pena plays the dad and eva longoria from desperate housewives yeah he's the mom and yeah. they are they are hilarious i wanted to see more of them yes there's a part where opinion. where the dad Beatboxes? That's not giving away too much. No, but and it was, <laughs> I was, was, I was laughing. I was laughing. <laughs> I was more like Eva Longoria in that scene of just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, I will say, I, I'm watching this movie. I'm just like, man, this seems like under some, let's just say, tropical influence. And then they have a scene where they inhale spores and everyone turns animated. And I'm just oh, like, oh yeah, yeah, it's making more sense. <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, I like the because uh, so, uh, we do see Diego also grown up, mm -hmm. but when you see her, him, and then the two classmates who get into an adventure, I liked the the camaraderie, but I like the dynamics between between the four of them. I do. I thought that the roles were very cliche in the beginning. They were, yeah. And but I loved the amount of diversity of just a, it was a bilingual movie. Yes. Which I appreciated cuz that took the essence of the show and translated um, nicely to, yeah. to to a live version. Yeah. yeah. And even with uh there were some uh captions in the bottom, but even so my kid was not deterred from the Spanish, mm -hmm. but sometimes you're like, what are they saying? Mm -hmm. but, but it's right there. The villain, meh. He was, I mean, well, there's also Swiper, which I didn't know until the end of the credits. Who, do you know who voiced Swiper? I have a guess. Yes, guess. No. No guess. Please guess. Um. Guess now. The guy who did Hey Hey that I can't think of his name all oh, of a sudden. Oh, Alan Tudyk? Yeah, yeah. No. Benicio del Toro. Oh, makes sense. Right? Makes oh my sense. gosh, to do Swiper. I mean, that alone just. But again, the whole existence of Swiper in the real world made it seem yeah. very surreal. It was surreal because he was. Yeah, it was. Talking Fox. Yeah. Still hanging out. It was. I thought it, it was fine. I'm it's, glad that they made a reference with. I'm just going to say Quicksand was involved, which that meme of. I, from my childhood, I, I would thought quicksand would be a bigger part of my life than it is. So I was like, quicksand! It can still, it can still be a big <laughs> part And I know part how to get out of quicksand, and they did the right thing. They did that, the right thing. It's very educational. Yeah. It can so. still be a big part of your life. Or, or your kid's life. life. Well, in a, in a controlled setting. Okay. Yes. And you can check out Dora. I think worth oh. it. Check it out. Yeah. Especially for free at your local library. Excellent.